Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lolliday and I am back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I moisturize my four type hair and keeping it moisturized for days. Let's go ahead and get started. So for this video, we are working on freshly washed hair. Last night I washed my hair and you guys, the amount of hair that I lost, you will not believe. Look at this y'all. Look at this, this is all the hair that I lost last night while I washed my hair. Look at that, that's nothing. That is literally nothing. So if you guys want me to do a wash day routine, <laughs> comment down below. Like I said, I just washed my hair and this is how it looks, freshly washed. So the first thing that I use to moisturize my hair, of course, is water. So I'm going to get it wet, but I'm not going to drench my hair because it doesn't really need to be drenched. I'm just adding water so it could be easy to manage. And of course, you work that through, get it warm. So the next thing I'm going to use is Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. I'm going to go ahead and warm that in my hand and put that all over my strands. As y'all could tell, I am using the LCO method, liquid, cream, and oil. And that's what I do to moisturize my hair. But instead of actual oil, I use shea butter. When it comes to four type hair, our hair is of course thick. And with me using shea butter, it's also a really thick product. What the shea butter does is trap in all that moisture that we put in with the spray bottle with the water and with the leave-in conditioner. Not only does the shea butter help moisturize the hair, it also locks in all that moisture. So now that the section is done, I'm gonna split it into two and further detangle it so that each strand is coated with all of the product. So right now, after I'm done moisturizing my hair, I am actually wanting to do a three-strand twist. With having four type hair, it may seem like a second job to some people because it takes a lot to, you know, maintain our hair and to also keep it moisturized. But I found with me using this method as well as these products, especially the shea butter, it actually made things really easy for me to maintain my hair. And my hair stays moisturized for days, so I don't have to really worry about it. So instead of me worrying about how to keep my hair moisturized, I worry about what style I'm gonna do next. Like I said before, I am doing a three strand twist out on my hair. If you would like to know how I do my three strand twist outs, I do have a video on that already. Go ahead and check it out. Look at my curls, y'all. Yes. And this is all for moisturizing. My hair is very easy to manage right now. Very soft, very smooth. Like, wow. So after moisturizing your hair, you can do any style, like a flat twist, flat twist style, braid out, anything. Look how moisturized that twist is, y'all. Yes. So this is the before. A little stiff. Of course, because I just washed it. And this is the after. Nice and juicy. It really doesn't matter how big or small the section is, just as long as you get it done. So of course I use my L, which is liquid. And then my C, which is cream. And that is what adds the moisture. And here's a quick tip. If you warm it up in your hands, it's gonna allow the moisture to penetrate your strands even more. And lastly, but most important, shea butter. And this is what helps lock in the moisture as well as add moisture. And y'all can just see the shine that the shea butter adds to it. So now I'm gonna part my hair into sections and go right into styling. Yeah. 
Look at that shine. Also, if you feel like your ends are bad, you can get more of the oil or shea butter and just apply it to your ends. And you can just see like with shea butter alone, it's just like, your hair is like, yes, yes. Of course, there's a lot of oils out there that can keep your hair moisturized, but I believe that shea butter is what keeps my hair moisturized the longest. I even sometimes mix my shea butter with different oils such as Jamaican black castor oil, coconut oil, argan oil, a lot of oils that I use. Maybe one day I'll, you know, post a video on all the products that I use. If y'all would like to see that, go ahead and request down below. Real quick, I wanted to show y'all the different textures in my hair because one of you guys in the comments asked me what hair type I have. And this section right here shows it all. In the back, I have like 4A, as you can see, it's like loose, loose curls. And all I did was add um, leave-in conditioner. And this is, I believe, 4A. That's the back of my hair. Now, the middle. <laughs> Put some more conditioner in there so we can see. Four B. So I have four A and four B in my hair. That's my hair, that's my hair texture. So to sum it all in the back and on the sides here, I have four A and everywhere else four B. All right guys, I am finally done with twisting my hair and I will be showing you guys the results now. This is the ending result of me moisturizing my hair. Wow. Every time I'm always shocked, like, wow, this is my hair. I freaking love my hair. But besides that, this is my last tip for this video on how to keep your hair moisturized for days. You know how when you get braids and twists or any hairstyle that you do, you try your best to maintain it and keep it neat for as long as possible. So the same way that you would want to maintain your hair while it's in different styles, it's the same way that you want to maintain your hair while it's moisturized. So things that I do to keep my hair moisturized, I would wrap my hair at night before I sleep, or if I'm just chilling at home, not really doing anything, I'll wrap my hair then. So with me doing that, that keeps all my moisture locked in for days. Comment down below any tips and tricks that you might have to keep your hair moisturized for days. I would love to know new techniques and I feel others will too. If you've gotten this far into the video, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.